Have you ever wondered how some plants produce more tastier fruits, more beautiful flowers, and more stronger wood than any other plants? The reason is their genes. So genes determine everything. So imagine a plant having all the genes in a single plant. Is there any technique to do that? Yes. The technique is gene promoting. So plants that are grown in a normal backyard are usually not that much strong enough to resist insecticides, insects, and various environment. The plants are usually susceptible to various forms of insects, pests, and microorganisms. So these ultimately will cause disease in the plants, reducing the yield and will cause huge economic loss to the farmers. So in order to make these plants resistant to the various insects and disease causing pathogen, a new technique is developed and this new technique will make the plants resistant to various forms of disease causing pathogens and insects. So the technique is gene promoting. So gene promoting is nothing but it refers to incorporation of two or more major genes in the host plant for specific resistance to a particular pathogen. So here plants which are mainly resistant to a particular type of pathogen are selected and the gene is taken. Similarly, the plant can be also resistant to another type of pathogen, so the gene is also taken from that. So the genes are selected and they are taken for gene promoting. The genes that has been selected from various plants are incorporated into that single plant and this will result in the formation of the new plant. This new plant will be mainly resistant to all the forms of diseases that the genes have been selected from. And finally, the combination of the major genes will confer resistance to various pathogens. And gene plummeting approach has been used in oat against crown rust in Canada.